everyone welcome to d4 drupal channel today we are going to see about how to create custom trick template in your custom module okay so first uh, i already created one custom module and that module uh, name is custom trick template i only have info file in that so next what i'm going to do i'm going to create one controller so for controller we need a routing file let's create a routing file custom okay custom template dot routing dot oml template dot routing dot oml so i am going to point a controller file to this routing so custom template and you have to give the name for your root custom template it is and next path path is uh, slash custom slash template I'm giving. And next, once path defined, you have to mention the path of your uh, controller file. So that is controller colon. And here you need to mention the namespace Drupal backslash custom template, the module name and the folder name controller. And I'm going to create a file called custom template, custom. So for a class name, you have to use always a capital letter for the first word. And the function name is custom, okay. Custom template, okay. For a function, you have to use a small case for first word and remaining words, you have to use the capital, okay. This is the standard. If you are using small case in all the place, it will work, but this will, this is the standard to follow. Title, custom trick template page, okay. And next you have to give the permission. So that is the requirements, underscore permission. I'm going to give the access content. So if you are creating any custom permission by yourself, you can give that. I didn't create anything. So I'm just reusing the permission, which is from the code. So once this is done, next, what you have to do, you have to go to the a module path and you have to create a folder for SRC. Under SRC, the folder name is controller. Controller. And here you have to create a PHP file for custom template dot PHP. And here I'm opening PHP and namespace for your file. It's Drupal backslash your custom template module name and then controller. Okay. And next use. So we are going to use the controller base, which is from the code. So I am adding a namespace for that. Base, okay. And next, I'm going to define a class that is custom template extends controller base open and public function the function name that is custom template and here i am going to return a markup return markup Hash of mark up. I'm just printing welcome. Okay, welcome. And okay, now we successfully created a routing and also the custom controller now. So since we created a routing YML file newly, so you have to clear a catchy. So I'm clearing the catchy.
now catch it clear successfully go to your routing file and get the path that is custom slash template copy it and paste it in your browser So you can see here the title and then welcome message which is from your markup controller file. Now we have we are using markup here, right? So instead of markup, I am going to create a custom twig file here. So let me tell you how to do that. First, you have to create a module file for that. So that is custom template dot module. So PHP. Implements hook theme. So this is the hook you have to mention here. Let's get the code from online. So hook theme Drupal 9. So this is the function I'm going to define here and close. So replacing the hook with the custom template, custom underscore template. And next, what do, you, what do you have to do? You have to create a variable. So here you have to return, return. Your custom uh, <clears throat> template name, it's custom underscore template. And for that template, I'm going to have only one variable. So that is text. So variable, you have to mention variable here. Variables. And here it is text. And you can give default value for it. So I'm giving null. And okay. So now we successfully created your uh, custom uh, theme hook. And next, what do you have to do in your module file? You have to create a folder called templates. So under templates, you have to create a twig file, right? So twig file is from this one, okay? Come on, okay, sorry. Okay, twig file you have to create. So dot html dot twig so when you use underscore in this uh, definition here you have to replace that underscore with hyphen in your file so when you define a twig file when you define any uh, html twig file under the template with the name of custom hyphen template it will search for hook theme where it has custom underscore template okay so since we already created, I created a html.twig file here. And next I'm going to print it um, inside the p tag. So that is text variable, right? I think so. Yeah, text variable. So I'm going to print text variable. I'm going to close the p tag. So now we successfully created a hook. And for that hook, we created a html twig file. We have to link this quick file to your controller. So open your controller. And here you have to mention hash theme attribute. So let's do that. Hash theme. So when you use hash theme in your place, you have to mention a keyword which you defined here. That is custom underscore template, not iPhone template. And next, you have to mention the variable that is text. So I'm going to give text as welcome to our D4 Drupal channel. Okay. And that's it. Now we uh, successfully configured it in your controller also.
Next, what you have to do? You have to go to the uh, Chrome and you have to clear a catchy. Now, why means we uh, created a new hook in your module file. So whenever you create a new hook, you have to clear a catchy. When I'm going to clear a catchy, So now catchy is cleared. When you scroll down, you can see the text is changed to welcome to our default Drupal channel. So the, from the controller file, it will call to the theme and it will pass text variable as whatever you are giving here. So that text variable will be replaced here and it will be rendered in the front end. Okay. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.